good morning welcome to another weekly vlog it's monday again um i've still got this cold feeling a bit better than i was apart from the fact that my joints seem to be really painful and i'm kind of struggling with stairs and stuff but there we go um don't have much on today apart from my mental health group later um so it's just gonna be a very quiet day doing editing and possibly starting to write a blog post um but yeah, I've got a couple of nice things on later in the week, which would be quite nice to film, hopefully. Um, yeah, my sister's cooking toast at the moment, and I always find that when she cooks toast, it smells really good. And I don't know why, because when I cook toast, it doesn't smell the same. And yeah, so whenever she's cooking toast, I'm like, oh, I really fancy some toast. And then I cook my own toast, and I'm like, doesn't, I don't know, doesn't make the same smell, and it doesn't like taste as good as I think it's going to taste i don't know if that makes any sense um so yeah i'm just i'm just enjoying the toast smell at the moment um and i'm gonna get on with editing a vlog <laughs> Day. Um, I feel quite low on energy and everything is just taking longer. I'm out of breath because I've just tried to come up the stairs. Um, but yeah, I've got my weekly vlog up, which I got up last week, and I've started editing the video that I want to try and go up tomorrow. Had some lunch and I'm going to pop down to. I need to go to Waitrose with my mum just to get some milk and some biscuits for my mental health group tonight and also oh god me out of breath um i also need to go to the chemist because there's been like a mix up with my medication and i need to sort that out so yeah i'm just gonna go and do that and then i'll see what the time's like when i get back as to what i do then so we've just got back from waitrose it took longer than we had anticipated I think one because we kept meeting people that we know which I guess is the problem with having like a shopping like a not shopping center a supermarket like in a relatively smallish town like you always meet someone you know um which is nice but at the same time it just means it takes a lot longer um but also because we had to spend quite a lot of time sorting out this medication basically I'd got um I'd been given some medication that I had like ordered a repeat prescription for and it wasn't until I went to start like using it that I realised um, that the medication that was in the bottle wasn't the same as the medication that was on the lab like the pharmacy label um, so I wanted to take it back to like double check what medication I'd actually been given um, and then they said oh obviously they apologised, um, they said we can't let you go back home with it because it's been incorrectly labelled so there might there may be an, an issue with it. Um, I mean to be fair I think I, I knew what medication it was but they have to be safe. Um, so yeah they had to, they said they'd have to file a report about it so um, they had to like sort out getting me some more medication and stuff so that took a while as well. Um, and then I've just been back and lying on the sofa watching Extreme Cake Makers because I love that program. Um, I'm just going to have a little bit of chill time now and eat something probably. Um, and then I've got my mental health group in a bit. So yeah, I just need to like muster up the energy because I'm just so blooming tired. I can't keep my, oh, can't keep my eyes open. Um, so yeah, I need to find some energy from somewhere but I'm gonna have a little rest for now good morning it is a miserable day today it's raining it's cold it's dark it's just horrible and I don't know whether it's the weather but my hair is like 
just sticking out i've like tried to wet it to put it back down again and it just keeps like frizzing out so i don't know whether it's something to do with the weather because it was absolutely fine yesterday um but there we go my mum and dad have gone out um to high clear which is where they film downton abbey um i got it for their anniversary last year i think and <laughs> booked it for today because i thought oh it'll be like probably like nicer weather they can look around the grounds yeah that didn't really work but hopefully they'll enjoy looking around the house and maybe the rain will stop a bit for them to look around the grounds but yeah so they've gone off for that um both my sisters are out so it's just me and the dogs at home um and the cat so it's quiet it's really weird when it's just me at home because i'm so used to our house being like busy and noisy so yeah it's a bit odd um, but I'm just going to get on with some editing because I'd like to get a video up today if I can and then possibly start on a blog post as well. So it's going to be a fairly quiet day. Um, I'm meant to be going to a farm tomorrow with my sister-in-law and my nephew. Um, but I'm just not sure. The weather's meant to be better tomorrow. It's meant to be sunny but because it's been raining I don't know how easy it's going to be to get around because we went last year and I don't remember the paths being particularly, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, basically the paths were like, it was they weren't proper paths, it was just sort of like mud because it's a working farm and if it's been raining the last few days I just think my wheelchair is going to get stuck so I might text my sister-in-law later and see if she fancies doing something different um, just because I can't, I can't be doing with getting stuck in the mud um, but yeah we'll see but I'm going to get on with my editing for now. Sorry for very little filming again today. I kind of feel like this vlog, uh, weekly vlog may be slightly repetitive. Um, but yeah, I've just been upstairs most of the morning. Um, I finished editing a video which is uploading and I've started editing some photos for a blog post. So I came down for lunch and now I'm just gonna go back upstairs again and carry on, I think. Don't really have any plans today the weather's horrible as i said earlier and i'm quite happy just being snuggled up inside doing bits and bobs to be honest this little man has been sitting on my knee while i've done some work oh now he's gone upstairs freddy <laughs> yeah he was sitting on my knee while i was doing a bit of my editing and then <laughs> came out here and did some weird like rolling digging thing and now can you get out of my bedroom please hello what are you doing up there not loud up there Ooh. <laughs> you just want to play don't you you just want to play are you in a funny mood are you in a funny mood oh mummy and daddy will be home soon look let me sit down on the stairs hello i just don't want you to wee <laughs> He has a very delicate bladder, shall we say. Don't you, darling? And if he gets a bit excited, he uh, can't quite help himself. <coughs> that might be mum and dad home. So I just hopped out to Waitrose um, with my mum because I wanted to get a couple of Easter eggs for my friend Sarah and her little boy Charlie. Um, I'm going to go to Tesco's later in the week to get all my other Easter bits, but these I need to get to her dad who's going to go down and see her at the weekend so I just needed to get them sorted so for Charlie I decided to go for a little dairy milk buttons one which um, you get an easter egg and a bag of buttons because um, he's two and a half so I didn't want anything that was like like mini eggs because I was concerned about choking um, and buttons are pretty much well most people like buttons so hopefully he'll like that and then for Sarah she basically said she likes any chocolate apart from stuff with nuts in so I've gone for a flake because I think flakes are really nice um yeah so there's a flake one I can't hold it up <laughs> it has got one large easter egg and then three flakes so hopefully she can enjoy that she is due to have a baby pretty much any day so and she said she's craving chocolate so hopefully this will make her smile so it is my friend sarah who i've got the easter eggs from 
um, her seventh wedding anniversary with her husband. So I was trying to decide what to get for her. And apparently seventh wedding anniversary is either copper or wool. So I found this copper photo frame on, on the high street. And it's kind of like, well, it's got like this, you can, well, you can get something engraved in it here. And um, the picture, the picture's like printed onto the copper. So I've decided to send them one of those with a nice picture of the two of them in it. Because um, I thought that would be quite nice for a copper wedding anniversary present. Hello, please excuse the hair again. I think, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, I have already been down to the doctors to have an ECG and my blood pressure checked. Um, I have to have it done every three months because of the medication that I'm on and because of my POTS diagnosis as well. Um, and my blood pressure is a bit low for me at the moment, um, which kind of makes a bit more sense I suppose because I've been feeling quite faint and dizzy and just not particularly brilliant so that could possibly explain why I've been feeling like that although I don't really understand why because I'm on medication and it's kind of been alright for the last like year or so. Kind of, I've had blips but not quite like this so I don't know why all of a sudden it's kind of not working anymore but I am waiting to hear back from my pot specialist about trying another medication so fingers crossed that might help a bit. Um, I'm just going to get on with finishing or well, trying to finish writing this blog post now and then this afternoon we were going to go to a local like farm and see like the baby animals and stuff but although it's a really nice day today it's been raining quite a lot the last few days and I was just really worried about my wheelchair getting stuck in the mud so um we're still going to meet up with my sister and Laura and my nephew and we're going to do they're doing like a charity scarecrow hunt around our town so we are going to do some of that we won't be able to do all of it today but yeah we're gonna go around and look for some scarecrows um and then hopefully go to the farm on sunday afternoon as long as it doesn't rain anymore hopefully <laughs> We are just heading out to meet up with my brother, sister-in-law and nephew and then we're going to hunt for some scarecrows. So I'll take you along with us and show you some of the scarecrows that are in the hunt. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets and Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see some of the scarecrow hunt we managed to find 16 scarecrows I think um, and yeah we were out for ages actually it's like nearly five o'clock and we went out just before half past one so yeah been out quite a while we had to go and get my dad to come and rescue me though because my wheelchair battery was flashing at like one little light on the thing um, and yeah I just wasn't quite sure how much charge I'd have left so I didn't want to get stuck somewhere um, but we'd actually kind of got round to where we would kind of planning to finish so thankfully dad was at home and I asked him to come down and pick us up um, but yeah no it was good fun um, Noah seemed to enjoy it like he for the first bit he was in the pram and then we got him out um, in like a quieter bit so he could walk around a little bit um, and he seemed to like quite like seeing the scarecrows 
Um, and then he got a bit tired, so we put him back in the pram and he had a sleep. And then when he got up, um, he had a snack and was sort of chatting away a bit. And like just as we got to the end of what the like route we wanted to do, he was starting to get a bit more sort of grizzly and fed up. So I think we kind of just timed it right. But yeah, we went all around like our town. We went quite far. My mum like checked on her phone and it said we'd done like was it twelve thousand steps or seventeen thousand steps? Obviously, I hadn't because I was in my wheelchair. But yeah, went quite a long way. Um, I filmed some of the scarecrows. Didn't film all of them because I couldn't. Somewhere the positioning was with some of them. I found it quite difficult to like see them from my wheelchair. Um, but yeah, there were some really good ones. I keep saying like, because they've done this before, and I, was, I said to my mum, I was like, we really should do a scarecrow the next time they do it, because it'd be quite fun. Um, but yeah, it's sunny, but it's really still quite cold, like there's a really cold wind, so I'm just trying to warm up now, because I'm still freezing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's five o'clock, I just want to try and get this blog post up, it's finished it just needs uploading so it's not hopefully gonna not take too long and then I think I'll probably go and chill out for a bit um I'm quite tired from doing the scarecrow hunt and I can't yeah I can't really start anything else now um so yeah I think that's our that's our plan so I've just been getting my blog post up um, about the Clinique event and I realised I don't think I actually told you um, what I bought. So I thought I'd show you now. Um, so I decided to treat myself to the Clinique ID moisturiser, which is what the event was kind of about. Um, and I went for, so it's like a customisable um, moisturiser. I will link my blog post below so that you can have a proper read about it. Um, but I went for the base, which is the hydrating jelly and then for my like cartridge I went for the orange one which is meant to be good for like fatigued skin um, I did say in my blog post it's a shame that it doesn't help with like the physical fatigue but obviously that would be kind of a miracle um, so yeah I went for that and then I also bought the chubby stick um, highlighter so it's called the Chubby Stick Sculpting Highlight um, and this is one of the things they used when I, they did like a little makeover for me and this is one of the things they used and it just gave a really nice highlight. Um, so I decided to get one of those as well. It is in number one hefty highlight. Um, so yeah, I really like that. And then because I bought two items, one of which was a skincare or foundation, I went for skincare. You then got a bag, which is rather funky, if I do say so myself. Um, very, like, neon. And you could get six free products. They actually let me have... Um, so it, there's eight different products you can choose from. They've actually let me bring home eight so that I can tell you a bit more about all the different options. Um, but basically, I think the this is worth, like, £42 or something. Um... So, yeah, it's a pretty good freebie. And also, if you bought three items, you would get this and a full-sized, um, I'm not quite sure what it is, it's a moisturiser or something, I think, but I didn't, I only bought two. So, yeah, I'll let, just show you what you can choose from for your free gift. So, these are the eight items that you can choose from. You can choose six of these um, to go in your funky bag if you buy two products, one of which is either skincare or foundation. So you can choose from a bronzer, which is the true bor I can't speak true bronze pressed powder bronzer in sunkissed. I'm not sure with some of these whether you can choose the colour or whether it's like that that's what you get, but that's the one I got anyway. Um there's also a lip gloss, which doesn't want to focus on at the moment. Um yeah, lip gloss. I don't think I've got the name of this. Let me have a look. Um, it's in, well, it's in number six, Adore You. Um, and it's just, looks like that, basically. Um, you then got a quick liner for eyes intense. So, eyeliner. There is then this, which is the Take the Day Off. Well, it's from the Take the Day Off range. And this is an eye makeup remover, 
can't see it's like uh yeah makeup remover for lids lashes and lips i love the take the day off um balm which i use quite a bit so i'm interested to see what that one's like there's then this one which is the liquid facial soap in mild which they used for me when i like they so they did a there they did a skincare routine first i'll speak properly in a minute um and they used this with the sonic brush which i really liked um there's then a mascara which is the high impact mas mascara again i used this in my makeover and really liked that there is also a, a dramatically different hydrating jelly which is actually the same moisturizer that i got for my base um but you can just get that as the moisturizer on its own and then this is what i really loved um which is the clinique chubby stick and this one is in where does it say it it's on here somewhere ah number seven super strawberry and um yeah she came to use this on my lips and i was like oh i think that's a bit dark for me but actually it came out really nicely um much more subtle than you kind of would think looking at the packaging and yeah gave me a really nice lip so you can choose from like six of these products plus the funky bag and yeah i paid for all of this so i kind of got these free bits as a normal person would but I, as i said they did give me the two extra just so i could show you everything um but apart from that paid for everything and yeah i really enjoyed it so i thought i would just show you those so that you i kind of can complete the story i think i can just start still say good morning to you i have just come out of my group it was a really good group today actually i <laughs> Kind of, for the most of it, I was just kind of like listening to people, what everyone else was saying and I was really struggling to stay awake because I'm quite tired. Um, and then literally like 10 minutes before the end, I, um, someone asked me if I was alright and kind of I was like, yep, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, and they're like, I don't believe you. Um, and I don't know, all of this stuff just started coming out and I was like, oh, it's bloody typical, like right at the end when there's not much time left. Um... I start like pouring my heart out um I don't know maybe it felt a bit safer because I knew that we only had like a few minutes left so I knew we couldn't get into it too much um but yeah I don't know it was quite good it was a positive experience I think um it's quite cold outside but I got in the car it's really hot in here um yeah so I'm gonna head home now we've got reflexology this afternoon so I'm really looking forward to that um but apart from that i think i'd like to start editing my weekly vlog um yeah and that's about it so i'm gonna head home i think it's gonna be another one of those days when i just don't really have much to film i'm afraid um although i did the scarecrow thing yesterday going easter egg shopping tomorrow hopefully and on sunday we're going to the farm in the afternoon so hopefully there'll still be some stuff for the vlog but yeah it's just a quiet day today um i've had some lunch and now i'm just waiting for my reflexology because she does mum and dad's feet first because she's a chiropodist as well um so yeah she's kind of just finishing off my mum and then it's my go um i've just come upstairs to i need to change my trousers because my jeans won't pull up enough for her to do my like reflexology <laughs> so i need to change into some leggings um, and also find an eye mask because she got well she she recommended me putting an eye mask on um just so that I can completely relax and chill out so yeah that's the plan um and then once I've done that I think I I'm gonna start editing a weekly vlog because I know if I sit down on the sofa I'll just end up falling asleep um so yeah not not a very in interesting day I'm afraid but that's, that's just the way it is. <laughs> Happy Friday. Um, I have been out canvassing this morning for our local election, which is always an interesting experience, but it went quite well. Um, just got back now and we've let the dogs out. We've actually got um, another dog staying with us um, called Polly. It's Polly, isn't it? Um, that was Freddy. <laughs> um, we've got Alfie there rolling. Um, See, so yeah, we've got Polly for a few days because we are dog sitting for some friends. So here is Polly. She is half like half Jack Russell and half 
Labrador or something, wasn't it? It's obviously just time to roll, isn't it, Freddie? Is it time to roll? I don't know why, why do dogs roll? Is it just fun? Is it just fun? You love it, don't you? Where's Polly done? Oh, she's going for a wee. <laughs> Lovely. Look at you. Hello, Polly. Hello. She's very interested in Freddie's backside. <laughs> Aren't you? You're very interested in Freddie's backside. Hello. Aren't you cute? She's an old lady now, aren't you? Hey, you're an old lady. Yeah, she's kind of limping on her back legs. Is it hurting, sweetheart? Her owner said that her back legs seem to be going a bit, so. Oh my gosh, this is what they were doing earlier. <laughs> Just run round after each other. She's a little bit slower than Freddy, I think. He loves it. <laughs> yeah, we're just doing some laps of the garden. Polly's not quite sure what to do. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, she's pretty good though. Not bad. Uh, out of the flower bed, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Freddy is so fast. So I've just been having a bit of a rest um, and now my mum and I are going to head over to Tesco's because I need to get some Easter eggs for various people and children <laughs> um, and also just a couple of other like bits that I need. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head over there now. Might see if I can show you like what Easter eggs they've got, depending on how much they've got left. Hopefully they've still got a decent amount, but yeah, we shall see. Right, we're just back from Tesco's. I didn't really get to film much while we were in there because it was really busy. Um, but picked up a few bits. Um, did have a look at the Easter eggs. It was a bit of a mess, to be honest. I think it literally looked like it had been ransacked. Um, but they had a few, they still had a bit left and they had a pink Kit Kat egg, which looked quite interesting. Um, what else did they have? They had Reese's eggs various other different eggs available um, but yeah I thought I'd just show you some of the bits that we picked up while we were out. So I picked up three of these dairy milk Oreo eggs. It was three for ten pounds and uh, they're gonna be for my godson and his two sisters. I thought I'd just get all the same because I'm not 100% sure like what they like and what they don't like but this is fairly plain so hopefully they'll like it and it just means there won't be any arguments over who's got what. Um, so that yeah comes with an egg and then two Oreo bars, which I've never tried before, but they sound quite nice. Um, I then got a card, which is a little girl card for my friend Sarah. She hasn't actually had her little girl yet, but I saw this and I thought it was really cute. It just says, welcome to the world, little girl, and it's all sparkly. Um, so I'll pop that away until her little girl makes an appearance. Um... Oh, I found this one, which it's got Eeyore on the front and it just says, sometimes just knowing someone is thinking of you can unglue me a day. And then inside, oops, sorry, mum's just <laughs> letting the door slam. Uh, inside it says, hang on, things are sure to get better soon, which I thought was quite nice because it's quite nice, like it's not a sort of get well card. It's just sort of a thinking of you, hang in there type card. Uh, then picked up a Tesco magazine because they're free and then I wanted to get a couple of like magazines to try because I don't know I well I haven't really got I, re I read Good Housekeeping I know it's probably not for my age but 
I quite enjoy it. So I picked that up. But then I've, I haven't really got any other magazines like to read at the moment because they stopped doing glamour. And well, they do it every now and again, but yeah, I wanted something else. So I picked up Happyful. Um, I did my work experience with them last year and really enjoyed it. And yeah, they're a really nice magazine kind of about mental health and wellness and yeah, just being happy and well. So picked that one up to have a read of. Um, and then I've also picked up In the Moment, Mindful Ways to Live Your Life Well because I don't know, had a quick flick through it and it looked quite nice. And I just, I'm not really into kind of the kind of gossip magazines. I just want something that's kind of going to make me feel good. So yeah, hopefully that one will be good. Okay, then I'm not sure whether I should be showing you this one because <laughs> this is actually my Easter egg. So my mum picked this one up for me because it looks rather nice. So it's a bounty egg. I've never seen these ones before, but the actual egg has got coconut bits in it so it's going to taste like bounty and then you get two bars as well so yeah very excited about that one not massively exciting but i picked up a new air freshener for my car um, and i've gone for the jelly belly tutti frutti air freshener because it smells really good and my last one was a jelly belly one and it lasted for quite a long time so yeah looking forward to popping that in the car and then picked up two of these malteser bunny eggs um they were two for ten pounds i think um, so I'm going to give one to Rosie and one to Rebecca, those are my sisters. Um, again, got them the same because then there's no arguments. Um, we also picked up a whole load of Muller Light yogurts. Um, just because we fancy, Mum and I fancied them. So we've got cherry ones, we have got the vanilla with dark chocolate. But we've also got... Ooh, some Turkish Delight ones, which they used to do like years ago. I'm sure I remember. Um, so yeah, we got a few of them. I was looking for, because I've seen that they're doing the Muller Rice Tiramisu flavour, but I think they're only in Asda, so couldn't get any of them. Um, also got this basket, which is like a rose goldy copper wire basket, because we're making my grandma a hamper for her birthday but we kind of don't think she'll keep the actual hamper so we kind of decided to get something that we would use because she will probably end up getting it back um and yeah we just thought this would be quite nice for sort of storage of some description but also we can put some tissue paper in it and make her hamper uh, for her birthday we also popped into marks and spencers because it's next door to tesco's to get some hot cross buns so they were on two for two pound fifty and we got nine mini chocolate hot cross buns which look rather tasty and then four sweet orange marmalade hot cross buns it was quite difficult to choose because they had a lot of different ones they had blueberry they had apple and cinnamon they had salted caramel and chocolate and then they had like normal ones as well but yeah gone for these two to start with to see what those are like and then my mum picked up these like full aprons i don't know what you call them really these are for nowhere anyway um they're kind of like a uh, flannelly type material um we've got quite a few from various places um these haven't got a plastic backing the other ones have um and they're really good because obviously they cover like all their arms and they're quite low as well um so you know for someone like noah who's doing baby led weaning and he gets rather messy these are really good however these ones come with so we've got a blue one as well they come with a popper rather than the velcro because we've had a, we've had problems like the velcro just doesn't last very long because you're having to wash the bibs quite regularly obviously because they're using them um and the velcro has just stopped working so we're having to like use a clip or something to hold them together so we found these ones with poppers and thought we'd give those a try so those were from marks and spencers and were nine pounds and they just come in one size and then my mum also picked noah up um this little outfit from Tesco's which is adorable um so it's got a little t-shirt and it just says you me and the sea which I think is really cute obviously this will be for like when the weather gets a bit warmer we've got it in 18 to 24 months which is kind of scary <laughs> I don't know how he's getting so big so quickly um but yeah so it's got this t-shirt and then <laughs> it's got these little shorts oh, that's the back of the shorts you can't see them here we go um 
so it's got these little like drawstring shorts which are just oh they're so cute he's gonna look adorable in this i can't wait to see him in it um but yeah we just thought that was really nice so that was from tesco and it was if i can find the tag um so that was nine pounds like for a little out whole outfit i just think that's really good i just love the t-shirt yeah can't wait to see him wear that and that is pretty much everything um i picked up some like toothpaste and mouthwash and boring stuff like that but that was all the kind of exciting easter eggs and baby clothes and <laughs> magazines and stuff like that um i'm absolutely shattered now after kind of going out canvassing this morning and then going to tesco's as well i'm just <laughs> i'm just shattered um but i haven't got anything else on today so it's just going to be an evening in front of the tv or watching youtube or something and with a cup of tea and yeah just not doing very much at all to be honest T tomorrow i am going um so we did the scarecrow hunt well some of the scarecrow hunt on wednesday with richard lisa and noah um but i'm actually going to go and sit down in the cafe tomorrow for a couple of hours because they need people to sell the maps but also when people bring them back with all their answers to give out their prizes um and i put my name down and said i'd do a couple of hours for them although i heard that they're sitting people outside and it's like quite cold <laughs> so i really hope i'm not sat outside tomorrow but yeah so that's tomorrow morning and yeah, apart from that, I haven't got anything else on tomorrow, so hopefully a bit of a quieter day. So, all of this morning I have been selling Scarecrow maps at the cafe for the Scarecrow Hunt. I ended up staying longer because they needed someone to cover more and I didn't really have anything else to do and all I was doing was sitting there and sort of saying hello to people and selling the maps and giving prizes and stuff so um, yeah that was quite nice um, we stayed there for a bit of lunch as well my mum and sister came down um, be quiet <laughs> yeah my mum and sister came down to have a bit of lunch as well so we've just got home Rebecca has brought a, another slide um, second hand for Noah so I'll just show you it because she's trying to ride it ride yeah, down it just don't break the slide <laughs> just go down on your feet or something <laughs> go on then wow that was um <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'd hate it. Okay, well, it took my weight, so Noah's. <laughs> Noah would be more than alright. Oh, I think I squished a fly. Great. <laughs> so, yeah, as I said, I am back home now. Um, not feeling particularly great. I haven't felt particularly great all day. When I, went, when I got down to do the scarecrow maps, um, I was just feeling, I don't know if I'm cracking my head off sitting like this, so, um, yeah, and then when I got down to see the scarecrow mats, I just felt really, um, kept feeling really shaky, and I keep feeling quite breathless, um, and just like not, I don't know, just not right, um, and I thought, I don't know, I thought to begin with I was like, well maybe my blood sugar's a bit low or something, but even though after I'd eaten, I still, still felt like it, um, I just constantly feel like my heart is racing um, and keep getting quite breathless and I don't know, I wondered to begin with whether it was like anxiety or something um, but it doesn't feel like I do get anxiety and it doesn't really feel like that, it feels more, I don't know, physical I suppose, it feels, I suppose I think it feels more, more like my POTS or asthma. Um, so I'm seeing my GP on Monday, I think it is, so I might just mention it to her and see see what she thinks, because it's just making me feel rough, um, and just really exhausted. So I'm going to try and finish editing my weekly vlog, because um, that's not too much, <laughs> too much to do, I can just sit here and do that, and then I might go and have a lie down, just because, I just, I don't know, I just haven't got the energy to do anything um 
although I was only like sit sitting there this morning, it is still tiring because of like all of the stuff going on around you, like all the people and the noise and the light and um obviously you know now and again I had people coming like either to buy a map or to get a prize. Um so yeah, I think I didn't realise how tiring I would find it and I'm I'm always like this. I'm like I'm terrible I should know by now like how to pace myself and how, like the fact that even little things are gonna take up my energy but I get a bit like over enthusiastic I think and I think yeah I can do that I can do that and then get to the end and I'm just like oh, god I really should have stopped like after two hours but no it was nice and like it was so nice like seeing all the kids and the adults come in and like you know they've really had like a good time finding the scarecrows and got so many good comments about the scarecrow hunt so like it was worth it but I just yeah I don't feel so good now but I want to get this editing finished and then I can just crash out Happy Sunday, um, I have just got back from church and mum and I are just going to hide some Easter eggs because Noah's come over to do a little Easter egg hunt just in our garden. So we've only got a few eggs for him to find because he's only little but yeah we're going to hide a few now. <laughs> Without thinking twice And I knew it would catch up And that we would be the ones Left behind The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind Ooh, This road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time Be a bit tricky to get to. The red one. Find something you around the back. Oh, 
a bit big, isn't it? That one. It's like climbing a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, come on, mummy. <laughs> no. No. Okay. Should we see if we can find some more? Noah. What have you seen? <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't fall in the flower bed. Holding your hand. Oh dear, it's so hard. It's so Yay! 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 Ready. Nope. <laughs> Since I found it, you can do the work. I can also get back on the slide. <laughs> oh, dear. Can we find some more? Daddy, he's like, I want to go on the I want to climb up the slide, please. No. <gasps> no, what's this? You can roll up and slide. Oh, what have you found? No, what's that? <laughs> Are you going to pick this one up? No, no. Can you put that in the bucket? Where's the bucket? Put that in the bucket. Betty's got the bucket. Oh! Put it in the bucket. Oh! Pop it in the bucket. Bring the bucket round back. You put it in the bucket. Put it in the bucket. No, I want to roll it down again. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's worked out that they're chocolate yet. No. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Daddy help you? Yay! Right, Daddy, I think there might be some over by the table. He won't let him go down the side first. Oh, right. I see it, up you go. <gasps> Goodness me, it's such a big slide. <gasps> Who's that? Who's that? Mummy! 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 Nanny. Mummy. <laughs> Where's mummy? Uh, We're going down forwards, are we? <laughs> might hump, you might bump your head a bit. That's a good idea. Ready? Whee! That's good fun. You want to do it again? Bump up the end. <laughs> Please excuse me, looking half asleep. That's because I am. <laughs> um, I thought I'd just come on and finish the vlog. Um, so yeah, we did an Easter egg hunt with Noah um, earlier today, which went quite well actually. He seemed to really enjoy it. He managed to find like 14 out of 20 of the eggs. And like every time he found an egg and put it in the bucket, he'd be like, yay! So that was really cute. Um, we decided not to go to the farm in the end. Richard and Lisa weren't feeling particularly well and we're just going to run out of time so i think we're going to do that next week um but yeah we just had we had david and emma over for lunch and noah over for lunch um and richard and lisa came over to drop noah off and pick him up again so yeah it's been nice and then this afternoon i've had a really productive afternoon um i basically fell asleep on the sofa so yeah <laughs> it's not it's not been a particularly productive afternoon but you know it's sunday afternoon after lunch all you want is a nap sometimes and so there we go um i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog if you have and you want to see more please do give me a like and subscribe to my channel um leave me a comment as well i always like to hear your comments and if you've got any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see me do please do let me know and yeah i'll see you in another video very soon bye